Hey guys, welcome to Sketching Creatures in Blender. My name is Alberto Cordero, and in this first tutorial, we're gonna be creating the base for the character, all right? So I'm gonna be narrating everything that I'm doing because obviously this is a voiceover, just because the process is really long and I just wanted to, you know, give you the best uh, quality in, um, you know, the, the creation process, right? So first I just, you know, create a cube, I delete the cube, like, you know, collapse everything, create a vertice, with this vertice, I'm just gonna create this uh, uh, scheme modifier so I can create a shape. What, what I'm doing right here, I, I'm just taking the vertices and just extruding and uh, the uh, scheme modifier with the subdivision surface is gonna allow me to have a base and you know, a, a, a mesh. So I can actually use this for, um, to have something to store in, in the character. So if you press, if you select a vertice and you press Ctrl A, it's going to allow you to scale this position for the, the vertice and for the uh, volume in uh, scheme modifier. So remember that in this stage, you need to be uh, all the time like saving and duplicating. In this case, what I do, and this is a practice just for me, I don't know if you like to do it, but just go ahead and do it. But for me, I need to have an idea that how the process is going. I need to have uh, in mind that I'm doing something and that something is uh, evol evolving and getting somewhere. Like in this case, I just duplicate the object and move it to another layer and start creating more shapes in this one. I just uh, um, apply the, all the modifiers so I can have just the mesh. So what I'm going to be doing here is just taking the mesh and start sculpting polygons. Sculpting polygons is just like you, like you saw right there is just apply the modifiers to the vision surface in one level, then go to sculpt mode and start sculpting like uh, to find uh, a better shapes in this case. And just because just because in this case I need to have okay I just saw there I I, I, uh, I forgot I wanted to create the horn so that's what I'm gonna do here so I'm gonna need a mirror modifier put the mirror modifier on top of the of the stack of modifiers so I can actually have something much better and I wanted to create the horns uh, like being part of the same model. So I'm trying to uh, create a better shape in this case because I just added like you know the horn so there's uh, more subdivisions there's more um, in this case vertices and uh, skin modifiers sometimes work uh, fine but you have to find the um, a better position for your uh, vertices a better scale so when he's starting to generate that um, mesh those loops those polygons so everything has to be in this in the, in the right place but in this case, it's just uh, playing around with the vertices, trying to find a nice shape. It's not. I mean, you can do what you can do whatever you want. This is the process that I that I do, and just showing you how I do it. There's a few a few ways on how to do this, but I found this like you know the most easier way to actually start creating this process. Ninety percent of the times, I'm I'm for characters I'm using first. Um, scheme modifiers and I always say this and I will say this to uh, you know in my live streams or to tutorials video tutorials anything that at first any any project is gonna look weird just because you're starting to do something and that something you know is, is not gonna be pretty <laughs> at first so just because you know it's a there's a process so you have to follow the process and um, as you see right now, it looks all kind of weird, <laughs> but I hope this is gonna, you know, of course it's gonna change, but you know, you have to that, you need to have that in mind. Like if you don't see it, like uh, there is something, um, 
that you like for your eyes or something. I don't know. It's a, it's a appreciation for the way you see things. Because, you know, a final piece always going to look amazing. But how is going to look when you are starting to do that final piece? That's a good question. So there's always a process. You need to have that, you know, in mind when you're creating. So there you go. I just duplicate it again. So there you go. I just apply the modifier and I'm going to school mode and I'm going to uh, use the, the, the tool grab. So grab in this case is going to be amazing for you just because it's going to allow you to grab those polygons in a better, better way. Like you saw there, I'm just trying, I'm grabbing those po big polygons moving around. It's so much easier than going edit mode and just grab the um, vertice by vertice. Sometimes visualization helps you. Like you saw there, I choose the, um, that dark um, gray view. I don't know, I like how I can see the, the lining and the shadows in the characters so it's, it, give me, it gives me a better uh, depth or volume. Yeah, it's just, it's just a way to how I, I do the things. I'm not going to tell you guys that you have to do it like this because there is a lot of ways on how to do this. I'm just showing you how I do this process. And so far it's going to be... Um, this is going to be all the process I'm going to be doing. I'm going to show you step by step. And in some videos, I'm going to put um, some time lapse just because it's a long process and I want to, you know, just be bored to death. So I'm just going to, you know, help you to just show you the process for the entire thing. It's not going to be that fast. It's going to be like 2x probably. So it's going to, you can actually have an idea and just on what I'm doing, but it's going to be kind of you know, a little accelerated. So like you see guys, and just in this process and just I just need to have a base mesh. This base mesh is really, really important for you. Just because you need to have something to start modeling or to start sculpting. A base mesh is like a benchmark when you're uh, drawing or, uh, you know, building shapes. In this case, when you build these shapes, it's going to give you an idea of how it's going to look the character at the end. This definitely is going to help you a lot to visualize, um, you know, a general overview of the character. Just in curves and flat areas, that kind of thing that you know uh, you can build in in the character. I usually take my time to get a really, uh, really nice base. Sometimes I just go and s jump straight to uh, dynamic topology because I already know what I'm going to do. But in this case that I, I'm exploring what to do, I'm just uh, in my in my head, this process is the best for me. So you need to know what you're going to do. You need to, you need to know where's your, um, Where's your start point? And a basic idea in what it's going to be at the end. So in this process, this, this is just looking for shapes, looking around, just exploring the model, putting every single piece of uh, vertice in the right place. I always like to have a character that is dynamic and there is no flat areas in uh, like in some cases like the horns 
I, I'm trying to find um, a shape that is curved, you know, to give me a, a more dynamic look so I can have like a better purpose for, for the character in this case. It's going to break that um, static pose for in any position. So when you when you uh, exploring the character, you need to go around for all the you know for different views, so you can have an idea how is how is the character looking for different angles. Because sometimes you're working in one just one angle, and when you go to the other side or another different angle, it, something is going to be looking really weird. So you need to have that in mind. You need to explore those options for you. So all the time, just moving around looking for angles, trying to break those flat areas and create more uh, dynamic uh, positions. All right guys, this is all for this tutorial. Uh, see you in the next um, in the next step, all right? Bye-bye.